Most of you will probably notice by now that I've only got one leg. It doesn't take a genius to work it out. The part having one leg throughout early childhood was the lack of feeling, of speed and of freedom. You know how kids that age just, just run for fun. They run around in circles, they run wherever you want to. And you run for that feeling of freedom and that feeling of speed. And in many ways that was what was lacking in my life. I remember one day getting really frustrated with my prosthetic leg that I used most of the time throughout my childhood. And I got in huge trouble from my parents when I threw it out off the second story window in the middle of a temperature tantrum, saying, I don't want this metal thing, I want one made of flesh and bone. Now some people who are goalies have the skills and ability to be patient, to wait for the action to come to them, to be able to perform at a moment's notice. They're all the skills that I don't have. And after letting about 20 goals in, spitting the dummy that I hate this stupid sport, I started to think, well, everybody else is having fun. How am I going to work out how to play rollerblade hockey? So I guess one of the things about having a disability is problem solving. It is working out a solution to everyday problems that is unique and different to everybody else in the community. And one of the questions and challenges that I offer the students is, who can think of a sport that I couldn't do because I have one leg. After talking to tens of thousands of kids over the last 15 years, we've come up together with a group of six sports that I don't think it would be possible for me to participate in because of my disability. And they are uh, tightrope walking. I believe now the awards will be presented. If anybody does have any questions of me or would like to come and have a chat, I think there's coffee and cake served afterwards, so please feel free, come and say good day. And thank you very much for laughing at all my silly jokes. <laughs>